Saturday. I feel like I have to really think about what day it is whenever I like actually think about it because let's be honest, all the days run together at this point. It is Saturday morning, late Saturday morning. I have my coffee in hand and it is an exciting day because I get to leave my house. By leaving my house, I mean I have curbside pickup for my groceries today. Very excited about last night. I was trying to make myself dinner. I didn't have any meat unthawed and I literally sat and stared at my fridge for like 20 minutes just like, what am I supposed to eat? So once again, I resorted to a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can't go wrong with those. I definitely needed some groceries. So hopefully I'm able to get everything on my list. Last time there was about maybe like four or five items that were either substituted or I couldn't even get, which like isn't the end of the world. And usually there are things that I don't need, but I would like to have. So hopefully I will get them. Um, I haven't seen my exact order yet. They're still processing it and putting it all together. So hopefully I will see that soon. I need to leave my house in about 45 minutes to go pick that up. It is a beautiful day outside. It is sunny. It is supposed to be really hot again. Yesterday it was like between 95 and 100. Anyways, I'm excited. It's gonna be a good day and let's go get our groceries. Okay guys, so I'm back from the grocery store and that was an adventure. I had gone to pick up my groceries, came home, unpacked my groceries, and then realized that they had forgot my lettuce. And for a second, I thought that the lettuce was just like not in stock. And so I looked at my phone, sure enough on my receipt though, I did have lettuce on my receipt. I did pay for it. So I called them, the lady was really nice and she was able to get me some lettuce, but I had to go back there. It's kind of a pain. Got my lettuce, so we're good to go on that. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I got. <sighs> Kind of interesting. I am not somebody who's a huge fan of curbside pickup just because I like to be able to go and pick out what I want. This is just a good example of me not realizing either what I'm buying or that I just didn't get what I was anticipating. So first things first, I wanted to make some BLT wraps and so I had got some of these wraps. I originally had ordered the Sunder and tomato ones but they were out so I just got the spinach ones instead. Frozen pizza for on nights when I don't want to cook, which is often. I got some sushi rice because I love making at home avocado rolls. I was out of this stuff. Maybe I'll make that for dinner tonight. Ooh, content. I got some more pasta to make spaghetti or like shrimp pasta, canned olives. I got some more everything bagels. Last time I had ordered curbside pickup, they didn't have any. So I was really happy that I was able to get some. Speaking of everything bagels, I saw that they had this seasoning, bagel not included seasoning. So it's basically everything that they put on the everything bagel, but not the bagel. So this is really yummy for if you have like eggs or cream cheese on toast or something like that. So yeah, really excited I was able to snag that. I got some other things just like avocados, tomatoes, that kind of stuff, fresh produce. I got some guilty pleasure items. I've been really craving lemon cake, specifically lemon cake. And so I got a lemon cake mix along with some buttercream frosting. So I'm probably gonna make that either today or tomorrow. This is the funny part. So late last night, I was ordering just some add-on items for my cart and I really wanted to make some bruschetta. I got a bunch of tomatoes. So I was like, ooh, let me get some like baguettes or like some French bread so I can slice it up, make some bruschetta and whatnot. And so I had ordered some. Little did I know that the bread that I had ordered was large loaves of French bread and I ordered three of them. I'm gonna have to figure out how to freeze these because I don't want them to go to waste because it's so much bread. Other things that I got were just like condiments. Like I got some soy sauce, um, some more rice wine and vinegar for salads. I got some canned tuna. And then I'll also show you guys what I have in my fridge that I bought, but because I had to like run back and get the lettuce, I'd already put it in the fridge, but I will show you guys what I got. So for starters, I got this oat milk. I usually drink almond milk, but I wanted to switch over to oat milk because I've been using oat milk coffee creamer and I really like it. I got a couple of these simple meals. It's just salmon and asparagus. All you do is pop it in the oven and it's good to go. So these are really nice to have on hand for dinners. I got some more milk, fresh salsa, cause your girl needs to have salsa in her life. So I had ordered some steak. I kid you not, this is not what was in the picture. Like I, I, I swear they were a lot more thick and maybe they were out of the regular kind, but <laughs> y'all these are so thin. I'm grateful, but man, these are so thin. <laughs> And then lastly, the most important thing that was on my grocery list was wine. Might have gotten three bottles. Not gonna confirm or deny the quantity of how many that I bought. It'll keep me stocked up for a while. That's all I have to say. I have been really enjoying this Riesling from Barefoot. I've actually, I felt have fallen in love with Riesling wine and just white wine in general. I really like it. And I've been trying tons of different types of Riesling just because I feel like it's a good happy medium where it's not like too dry, but it's not too sweet. I saw Tara Michelle over on YouTube and she really loves this Riesling Barefoot wine. And so I was like, 
you know what? I'll give it a try. It's definitely more sweeter than what I'm used to, but I really like it. And so I have been drinking this lately and it's really cheap. It's like $4 at the store. So your girl's stocked up for a little while. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna put all these groceries away and then I have a vlog that I need to edit and I think I'll make some lunch as well. Also, I just wanted to pop on here because I don't know if anyone else is noticing this too. Sorry, <laughs> got my dirty dishes, my groceries. I'm just a hot mess. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this about like people are being a lot more chaotic on the road when driving during this time specifically. And for instance, like I live in Texas and so people are like crazy drivers all the time. Like you can be driving 15 over the speed limit and people will still be tailgating you and wanting you to go faster. So it's like, I'm used to crazy drivers. I feel like the, the few the few times that I have gone out during this whole thing, people have just been like, like they have just been on another level. People have been like running through like red lights. And I'm not talking about like going from like yellow to red and they just happen to like run through it. Like I'm talking about like red lights that have been red and people are just like, I'm gonna go and just like going right through the intersection and I'm just like, like did, did anyone else just see that? Because I did. Or running through stop signs and not and when I say running through stop signs, like I I don't mean like a California, like I'm just gonna slow down and keep going. I'm talking about like, like I don't see a stop sign, you know? And so I've just been seeing a lot of crazy drivers lately. I know like the area that where I live in, there hasn't been a lot of cops on the road just because I'm sure they're busy with everything that's going on. And so I feel like people are really taking advantage of that and just being like, I don't give no regards to the law or the speed limit or anything. And they are just like driving like maniacs. Like I'm somebody that like, I'm a very confident driver and I don't ever get like freaked out when I drive. Like I'm really good and unless my husband is driving, I get kind of anxious, but I am not somebody that ever gets anxious when I drive. And I'm, like I said, I'm a very confident driver, but lately the last few times I've gone out, it has made me so anxious. I don't know if anyone else is feeling the same way or if I'm just overreacting, but I definitely feel like when scary stuff is going on in the world or people are just in panic mode, and this isn't a jab to anybody, but I feel like people just don't really think um, about what they're doing and they just kind of go, 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 go. And like, it, like I said, it's not a jab to anybody, but I feel like a lot of people just lose their common sense sometimes. And I feel like I've been seeing that a lot on the road and I feel like I'm in the middle of the Tokyo Drift movie right now and that it's like not even enjoyable for me to even go on a drive just to clear my mind. For those of you out there on the road, just be careful, be safe, be aware of your surroundings and just remember you're not the only one on the roads. All right, continue on with the vlog. Alrighty folks, so I went ahead and made some bruschetta to put on some bread. I basically just chopped up some tomatoes, chopped up a little bit of mozzarella. This is actually string cheese that I chopped up because it's a really cheap alternative compared to actually buying like the actual mozzarella ball stick thing. So I've chopped up some of that. I have some fresh basil and then I just seasoned it with some avocado oil, balsamic vinegar, a little salt and pepper and garlic powder as well. So we're just going to plate some of this and put it right on the bread like so. Okay, should I give this a little taste test? I feel like I'm gonna drop this all over the floor, but okay, ready? My cake's done. Okay, gotta go. Okay, you guys, it's been a few hours. I just finished editing a vlog, but I just frosted my lemon cake. I just used this buttercream frosting, which is delicious. Um, All I have to say is this is um a large cake for one person. Don't judge me. We'll not eat it all in one day, but possibly two days. I'm just kidding, but I am excited to have this with a glass of wine tonight. I also just have some rice boiling right now. I'm just gonna make a couple avocado and cucumber rolls for dinner and probably clean up my kitchen while that's boiling because yeah. Okay guys, so I'm bending down really low so y'all can see me. I'm gonna make some dinner as I told you guys before. I think I told you guys before that I was making sushi early in the vlog. I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna make some sushi for dinner. I'm just doing avocado and cucumber rolls. I don't have any like sashimi grade fish or like crab or anything. Um, but this is a good alternative where if I'm craving sushi but I don't wanna spend the money for it, it really helps like curb that craving. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make a few small veggie rolls and I'll show you guys kind of how I do that. Okay, so first things first is I have my rice. I have a bowl cooked of sushi grade sticky rice and I just sweetened this with a little bit of salt, sugar, and rice vinegar. You can make your own mixture or I think there is like seasoning that you can actually put in the rice that's already pre-mixed. I have some cucumber and avocado that I chopped up, some toasted sesame seeds that I like to kind of sprinkle inside my roller on the outside of it. And then I have seaweed that I use and I always put the shiny side down and I have 
like a big old package right here that I already had in my pantry. So I'm gonna show you guys how I basically make my rolls. So I'm gonna take a little bit of rice and just plop it on here. Start off with a little bit, you don't want too much. Okay, so you wanna have wet fingertips so the rice doesn't stick to your fingers and you're just gonna kinda lightly pull apart the rice. And a trick is you don't want to press it really firmly down onto the seaweed because you'll do that anyways when you're gonna be rolling up the roll. You just want it kind of nice and fluffy. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. This rice is very sticky this time around. Hopefully that means it's good. Okay, so now that I have my rice, I'm gonna take a little bit of the toasted sesame seeds. I'm just kind of sprinkle that over the rice. I'm gonna take a little bit of cucumber and some avocado. And now it's time to roll. So what I'm gonna do is take the ends where everything's at and just kind of roll it, flip it over. And then once I flip it over, I'm gonna connect the bamboo mat and just kind of press it a little bit and then roll it and then squeeze it. It kind of like this. And when I make these smaller rolls, there's actually a lot of seaweed left over at the ends, which I don't need necessarily. So what I'll do is take my knife and just cut the end off pretty much. If I have a more full roll, I will leave it. But in this case, I don't really need a lot of extra seaweed. And then once again, you wanna wet your fingertips and kind of get the edge, the seaweed, the nori all wet so that it'll stick. And then you're just gonna finish rolling it all together. So roll a little bit, squeeze, unwrap, roll it over again a little bit, squeeze like that. Kind of roll it over a little bit more if you want. And there's your roll. Okay, so now you wanna cut your roll. So you make sure you have a sharp knife because nothing is worse when you have a dull knife and you try to cut it and nothing cuts. It just kind of squeezes everything out. And then I'm just gonna start off by cutting down the center. And then a trick you can do is lining them up like a log. I don't always do this, but I'll just show you guys. Like this. And then once you cut it, it should look like this and you have your sushi. Okay, so now it's time to make the spicy mayo. So I have just a couple spoonfuls of mayo in there. You can use whatever kind you like. But next, I'm gonna take some sriracha and just squeeze it in there. You can put however little or much you like, depending on the spice. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of sesame oil and just dab some in there as well. And then if you have lime, you could squeeze some lime in there. I don't have any, but if you do, feel free to. And then once that's all together, we're just gonna mix everything. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I'm just gonna eat some dinner and just hang out for the rest of the evening. I feel like I say that at the end of every vlog, but it's, I mean, it's true. It's like, what else are you gonna do at this point? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.